<laughs> what was that? <laughs> Ready for bugs? I think so. I hope so. <laughs> That'll do any bugs back. Good afternoon. It is mid-July and it has been since the end of May that our kids have hiked. So it was high time that we get out into the woods. David and I did Grandfather Mountain last month, but it was definitely time for us to get back into the woods. So we are in DuPont State Forest, a little bit south of Pisgah National Forest where we usually go. And we are going to be hiking Big Rock, which typically has blueberries this time of year. So we're gonna see if we can get some wild blueberries. Um, and once we get up to Big Rock, we're gonna do a loop around Cedar Rock Mountain, not the same one in Pisgah, but Cedar Rock Mountain, um, and then make our way back down. So it's about four and a half miles. Uh, should take us a couple hours at most, but it should be fun. We're kind of looking at rain, so we'll see what ends up happening, but um, feels great right now. So we're looking forward to a good hike and some a little bit of climbing and maybe some delicious blueberries. a popular um, mountain biking trail so it's a little rutted out and things but no worries hopefully there won't be too many bikes today that we have to move out of the way for Unfortunately, we're a little past um, prime season for the blueberries, so there are some, but they're pretty small. Um, we've had not a lot of rain in recent weeks, and so thinking that probably affected them too, but I'll show you kind of what the kids have found so far. The itty bitty yield right now. We're a little past prime. Right a now. little. <laughs> yeah. Two or three weeks ago, I think we would have been in good shape. Yeah, it's like you can see them in here. So the blueberries were a little bit of a bust, but that's okay. We found a few good ones um, that tasted really nice and sweet, but most of them were definitely past their prime. Um, we usually come out here in mid-June or even a little bit earlier. Um, well, sorry, mid to late June, <laughs> earlier than we are now. So it's only 0.7 or 0.6 to where the blueberry bushes are. So if you're looking for an easy hike in the summer, in the future, definitely keep that one on your list. So we are coming up to the summit of Cedar Rock, different one again than Pisgah Forest, but same name. Um, and we'll be looping around to head back. So I wanna say the loop is about four and a half miles total. We'll have to check in at the end, but it's not too hard. Mostly rock path, um, get some good views here and there. So looking forward to just a nice relaxed day on trail with the family. Definitely keeping our eye on the storm over there. Not sure that we'll be able to avoid it, but maybe. What are you checking out? The sign? Ooh, difficult terrain. Do you agree? I don't know. This is what we're about to get on. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. It's mostly rock like this. This is pretty. Oh, yeah. Different color. We're continuing to descend. And Naomi just pointed this direction. Should make for an interesting descent if it comes our way. Very thankful for the breeze that accompanies these storms though. It feels so good with the wind blowing.
is a huge mushroom. It's about the size of his head. <laughs> Just about. Onward march. Oh, I shall be telling this <laughs> with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads to birds in a wooden eye. I took the road less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. Beautiful. Almost back to the beginning. And we didn't end up getting rained on much at all, did we, Nami? No, the, the mist did feel good, I agree. Whole bunch of bikes just passed us. Probably from that van. But our van is here. Yeah.